Bitch, I'm trying to get a 10 ball. I start popping beans when they start mixing shit with Finn. I'm All right, I got my boy Scooby Montana in the building. What's up, man? Alright, we're gonna start from the beginning, man. For sure. So, where you born and raised? No, Belson. Belson, Alabama, man. No way. No side, man. PL. Okay. I was growing up in the PL area. Man, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't too good, shit. Did you too bad, bro? It was alright, bro. A lot of. A lot of crime, you know, just, you know, normal shit, normal hood shit, you feel me? You just, you know what I'm saying, they just adapted to this shit, you feel me? I really ain't have to adapt to this shit, for real. Because, you know what I'm saying, shit, just, 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 just a life, just a lifestyle, you feel me? The way of life, you know? Okay. Was it both parents in the household? So I raised my grandma and my granddad. Okay. Grandma and granddad, you know, they, you know, church going, you feel me? You know, just like the normal grandparents, you feel me? Okay, what's the situation with that? Like, what's up with your mom and your dad? I mean, they, they, yeah, hey, they were still in my life, man. But, you know what I'm saying? My mom, she was working so much and stuff, so, you feel me? I made it with my grandma, you know what I'm saying? Blunties, you know. I got a big family, too, man. Big family, good family too. You know, but I mean, I ain't gonna sit here and say I ain't had no dad or no. I had my mom and my dad growing up. You feel me? I wasn't in the house with them, but you feel me? Like, I still fuck my dad to this day. God, like, real nigga. Like, so I, I really, I had the best of both worlds, for real. The nigga just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just chose, chose the street life. Okay, you growing up in this area, living with your parent, your grandparents. Right. In in the streets. Right. At what point did you start getting into music? Man, I've been writing rap since. Matter of fact, I just found one of my old rap notebooks, 2007. They're probably the first. Yeah, seventh grade, sixth, seventh grade, I started writing raps. You know, I always been good at writing, cause in school, like writing poems, and I don't want certificates for writing shit, bro. Like I always, you know what I'm saying? I always been a writer. But the nigga Ryan ain't take that rap shit serious around 2012. My nigga Bucci, feel me, long live Bucci, feel me. 2012, man, we, you know what I'm saying? We were doing our thing, but we weren't really taking that shit that serious, you feel me? Like, we, we was in the studio in and out, you feel me? But we weren't really taking that shit that serious for real, like a nigga is now, you feel me? That's why I'm doing this shit now, because I know my nigga, that's what they wanted to do, you feel me? And I ain't here now, so. Got any mixtapes out? I ain't got nothing out right now, but I got a couple singles out. You know, we got the video shot by you. Appreciate that too, bro. This shit, hey. I need Lil Hilda, man. Man, Lil Hilda. Yeah, go check this shit out, Sam. It ain't on YouTube yet, but it's coming soon, bro. The video coming soon. Leave that. Okay, so you really just not getting started. I'm just getting started, bro. Like, I'm, I'm fresh, bro. Like, I'm fresh out the day, cuz. I'm just getting started on this shit, bro. Just getting started on this shit, bro. Man, I know a lot of niggas that rap, man, and write shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do that shit all the time, bro. But when you, when you write, just trying to make that move, my nigga, that shit gonna, it gonna show, bro. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? You on your way to the top, my nigga, that shit take, it, it take time, bro. Leave. Ain't no, ain't no shortcuts to this shit, man. I know it's, ain't no shortcuts to this shit. Alright, by this time, like, since you just not jumping in, and over the years, or probably over the past couple of years, the scene down here in Birmingham has really, has really taken off. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Like they really, like, bro, it's a lot of talent down here. And they, they, they really, they, now they noticing this shit, bro. Like it's a lot of talent down here, bro. Like I know a lot of niggas that can rap, like I said, bro. Niggas get high and drunk and rap all the time, bro. But when you actually trying to something with this shit, bro. You gotta have your shit right. It take more than just rapping, bro. It's a little piece of knowledge, man. It take more than just making a song, bro. It be more to get more to it. And anybody can just go to the studio and pay for a session make a song, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm checking out these thirds, man. Taste makers, man. 
Yeah, open mic, see if you see the finale. Yeah, I'll check us out Thursday, man. Robot, play in Uber Lounge. Yeah, I'll pull up. Hey, I want to see my, I really want to see more from you, then. Post up on the block and bitch, I'm trying to get a brick off. Trying to watch the game.